all right guys got a brand new video for you guys thank you guys for the continued support the last two videos absolutely bang they went ham man and i'm just appreciating the support so i'm gonna keep it up another quick update for you guys is i hired an editor so he's gonna be uploading my videos maybe a little bit better than i edit them and adding some twitter clips and things like that new thumbnails so the production value should increase tenfold going forward now the topic of today's video is should salaries be public should call of duty players and esports players in general have their salaries out there for public knowledge well let's dive a little bit deeper into it all right guys so you can see on your screen right now basically this is the first time this has happened in esports henry g tweeted out uh alex mcmeekin uh his salary on the squad so as you can see right here they made it public player alex alex mcmeekin role captain igl riffler contract link three-year deal uh, 1.65 million. They didn't release the individual details of the deal, like the deliverables, et cetera, and things like that. But essentially they're announcing how much he's basically going to get paid over the three years that he's on the team. Now, this is remarkable news because this has not happened in esports before. And if you think about sports and sporting leagues around the world, the contracts and the details are usually public knowledge. So you can go in and you can see what your favorite player is making. And that way the teams are fully transparent and you pretty much know know how much it costs to get some of the top talent in the league. Now, immediately when this happened, a lot of the people were talking about Call of Duty players' salaries becoming public knowledge, and if it would be a good thing. Even Hex and Hastro had a small talk about it uh, in the latest Eavesdrop podcast. I'll put the link to that podcast in the description below if you haven't seen it. It's an absolutely phenomenal watch. Two of these guys are legendary people in the esports scene, and they fostered some of the best esports players in the history of esports. But let's watch the clip right now. On the on the on the publicizing of the salaries, mm -hmm. would you would you be for that or against it? We've been talking about it in our office because of that, right? Like because yeah. of what what just happened. Uh, man, you know, I think it's a good thing to be honest, right? Like I think it would bring a lot of stability because look, here's the deal. Uh, I'm just gonna straight up say it. When we, when I pay a player a shitload of money, I give him a big check, a big contract, and more times than not, player falls off because. Mm -hmm they're not that hungry anymore they you know they're literally they can eat yeah. you know and uh, they can buy nice things and yeah, they can yeah, do yeah. all the things you know they've achieved some success and like they know that paycheck is coming for a while yeah i think it's a good thing because uh, if we do it because everybody will be kept honest yeah you know and then you know there's gonna be pressure from the fans yeah like on you those dudes with, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? You better... wake your ass up on time yeah. show up the scrims yeah. on time like you need to start doing something yeah. you know and then it gives us the ability to cut those players without the fans giving us a bunch of backlash i'm not on the fence at all i don't want that shit to be public personally. no no man no just yeah. mind your fucking business i mean look I, i'm impartial <laughs> i'm impartial yeah really I, I don't i really don't give a shit to andy, be honest. andy texted me immediately he said what do you think i'm like no hell no maybe i don't know i, I, I and i'm like so I'm yeah like, yeah he's probably 50 50 like me i really yeah. don't care yeah i don't care you know? it's not it's not my pressure you yeah. know what i mean the only the only reason why I think it would be okay is because then then salaries wouldn't be as inflated as they are. Like people would have to take uh like you know what I mean? Every, yeah. Everybody would be like, there are definitely there are a lot of overpaid players in esports. Yeah. Straight up. And and I mean you you've seen like Krim has been very vocal about it about people just not not even trying anymore, right? Yeah. Like like not being not being yeah. professionals and showing up. Yeah. Uh, and we've experienced that. I, I've experienced it. I I, uh, I see it as a as a benefit for the orgs. I see it as a little bit of a of of a not so good situation for the players because then, you know, they know they know who get, who gets paid what, and then they have a whole set of issues as to why they should perform better or why they, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like if Scump's already getting shit for for having fun playing fucking Fall Guys or or mm -hmm. uh, or Warzone, you know what I mean? Like imagine if if they, yeah, yeah, yeah. if, if they yeah. knew. How much he got paid? You know yeah. what I mean? Okay, just it would probably be that way in the that. beginning from the fans, but I think that would change over time. Yeah, like you know, like nobody, you know, if Ben Simmons puts out a picture of him fishing, nobody craps on him. Be like, you should be on the court. You know, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, like because yeah, yeah. that, that they've changed that mentality for the fans by yeah. doing it for so many years. I mean, know? and if you look at if you think about it, like in the past, like let's call it from 2008 to 2011, YouTubers used to get fucking shit on for making money off of the videos that they made. Dumb fucking fans would be like, you're only doing it for the fucking money. And I'd be like, motherfucker, you go work at, at that office for money too. Like, are mm -hmm. you? 
All right, so I think that that chat was fantastic. Uh, these are two guys who have a ton of esports players under their name, and they know the inner workings of the esports scene. And, you know, they both pose both sides of the argument. And I think uh, something to talk about is what Hashiro was saying about holding players accountable. I think that if salaries were public, it would hold players accountable to be on time, to be on point, and to be performing at the level of your paycheck. If you look across other sports, if somebody gets a crazy deal, they are held to a certain standard and they have to achieve greatness. Otherwise, it's not warranted to pay them that much. And I think that that would be fantastic if it was standard across esports. If every single Call of Duty League was going to make every single player's salary public, I think that it would help a lot. You wouldn't see as many players getting overpaid, and you wouldn't see some situations that we have right now. I mean, if you think about it, the rumor going on is that Weskin and Scraps, two players, have asked for a lot of money and teams don't want to pay it. And that's because they realistically have not won uh, in any of the teams that they've been on. So it's hard to justify paying them that much. So if you have a standardized salary that everybody knows across the board for the level of player that you are, I think that it helps a lot in terms of the ecosystem and players getting picked up to teams and players also knowing their worth. Uh, and what Hex brings up on his side is actually very important as well. I think in the beginning, it would be a struggle for some of the players to see the salaries of some of their competitors and realize that they're getting paid way more than them. And that would frustrate them, but it could also channel them to play a little bit better and to be more on point and to be ready to go. I think that overall, there's more positives than there are negatives. And I think that it's something that we should definitely test out in the future. Now, with all that being said, a salary is a very private thing. You guys definitely shouldn't be calling for people to be putting their salaries out there unless it is standardized across the industry. But as of right now, it's still very private and everybody isn't exactly comfortable with people knowing how much money that they make. Um, but over time, that could change. I really like the discussion that these two had, and I think it's something that we should definitely keep our eye out for in the future. I think what Cloud9 is doing right now could change the standard and set it in esports and pretty much change how we operate entirely. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like on it. It helps a lot. Also comment if you guys think that salary should be public. In my opinion, I think there's more positives and I think it's something that we should definitely slowly integrate into esports. I think only good can come from it after a decent amount of time. But thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.